What's going on YouTube? Just helping me out here. And for today's video, I'll be doing Chapter 21, Problem 2 in the Fundamentals of Physics Textbook by Gerald Walker, Halliday, and Resnick. Uh, chapter 21 is all about electric charge. And in this particular problem, we're given two particles and we're told how far away they are from each other. And we're given both their accelerations and um, we are given one of their masses, the other one is unknown, and we are actually asked to find that in the, in part A, and then in part B, we need to find the charge on each particle. So, for part A, we're trying to find the mass of the other one. So, we know that the force on the particle is equal to ma, and since these two particles are attracted to each other, their forces are going to be equal and opposite, assuming that all energy is conserved. So that means Ma of particle 1 is equal to Ma of particle 2. And then we can write that so we can say mass 2 is equal to mass 1, acceleration 1, over acceleration 2. Those are A's, sorry, they look like 9's. But those are A's, so that's just dividing both sides here by um, acceleration 2. And when you plug in those values that we're given, which is 6.3 times 10 to the 7th times our acceleration of 7 over 9, we should get 4.9 times 10 to the negative 7th kilograms. Okay, and now for part B, we need to find the charge on both, on um, each particle. So, again, we can start with our force, F equals MA, um, but we also can write force as K, Q1, Q2 over r squared, r being the distance between them, and k is our constant, 1 over 4 pi epsilon sub 0. And so, we can now set these two equal to each other. And since we're trying to find, since we're only trying to find the charge on one particle really, this q is actually going to be the same. So we can write this as kq squared, and that's over r squared. And then we can rearrange this equation to solve for q. So we'll multiply both sides by r squared. That'll give us ma r squared is equal to kq squared. And then if we solve for q, we get the square root of ma r squared over k. And when you plug that in your calculators, you should get 7.1 times 10 to the negative 11th coulombs. And you may be thinking that since this is a square root, you'll have a positive and a negative charge, but the problem only wants to know the magnitude. So that's it for this problem. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like. Leave a comment if you have a question about something I did or an idea for a future video. And lastly, Please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel, help me grow, and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.